Hi children, I've got a lovely book here called Oliver's Wood by Sue Hendra. I'm going to read that and then we're going to make an owl puppy. Are you ready? When night falls and the moon and the twinkly stars come out, Oliver wakes up in his wood. Twit twoo, twit twoo, he calls. Can you see the moon? And there's Oliver waking up at night. The spiky hedgehogs and the stripy badgers wake up in the wood too. <laughs> snuffle, 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 snuffle. They are Oliver's friends. Can you see the hedgehogs? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spiky hedgehogs. How many badgers? One, two, three, four, four stripy badgers. And they're all Oliver's friends. So are the batty bats. Oliver likes to fly around with them in the wood. Whiz! Whiz! They go. And Oliver and his friends play all night long. And when the moon and the twinkly stars grow dim, they all go to sleep. All these animals come out just at night and not in the daytime. One night, Oliver stayed up late. He saw the moon and the twinkly stars grow dim. And then he saw something he'd never seen before. The big, round, warm orange sun. Oliver was very excited. He went to tell the spiky hedgehogs and the stripy badgers, but instead there were rabbits and squirrels. Can you see them? Hippity hop went the rabbits. Skitter scatter went the squirrels. They didn't talk to Oliver. They weren't his friends. Oliver went to tell the batty bats, but instead there were butterflies. Look at the sun, said Oliver, but the butterflies just flew away. Flutter, flutter. Oliver felt very lonely. He flew back to his branch. He wished he could tell someone about the sun. And Oliver lay down on his branch and he slept. Night fell and Oliver's friends came out to play in the woods. Wake up, lazy bones, they shouted. When Oliver opened his eyes and saw his friends, he felt really happy. Guess what, he called. I saw the big, round, warm orange sun. Wow, said the prickly hedgehogs and the stripy badgers. Whee, said the batty bats. To wit to woo, hooted Oliver. And there's Oliver. And animals that come out at night are called nocturnal. Now, I am going to make a nocturnal bat to fly round my house tonight. And I'm going to use my hand to draw. I need just a piece of paper, a piece of card, a lolly stick or a pencil, some sellotape and some scissors. Now, first of all, we're going to draw around our hand, but we're going to keep our middle three fingers together like that. And then I'm going to draw around my other fingers. These two are going to be the wings. Here we go. right round those and my thumb so my thumb and my little finger are stretched out and I'm just going to join it across like that now I need to do some big big owl eyes owls have big eyes don't they so I'm going to draw a big owl eye like that and put a little dot in the middle and a big owl eye like that and I'm going to draw a little beak and some owl legs here. Here they are. Some little owl legs. I think my owl looks like he's soon ready to fly. So I'm going to quickly, now you can do this neater than me, I'm going to quickly colour it in because owls are usually brown. But if you haven't got brown, you could make yours a more interesting colour. I'm going to not take too long on mine. So I know you can colour much better than me. So it's a very, 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 very quick colour. Like that. 
And I can see now that it's looking a lot more like an owl. I don't even think I'd be able to tell that it was my hand that I drew round. And I do like drawing round my hands. There we are. Nearly done. And I'm now going to colour the beak. Nice orange beak. Orange feet there. And I think my owl looks really nearly ready to fly. Let's give him a few hairs on his head like we've got on this book. There he is. All I need to do now is to cut it out. So I'm going to cut not too close to it. But you, if you want, can cut exactly round. I'm cutting very quickly there. And you can see that. And then all I need to do is to turn my owl upside down, get my lolly stick, I'm going to stick it on. As I said, you could use a pencil instead of a lolly stick. And here we've got our owl. Twit to woo, twit to woo, twit to woo. I think he's ready to go and play with the uh, hedgehogs and the badgers to you tonight. Have a lovely day and I can't wait to see your finished owls. Bye.